Yo, what's poppin' guys, and welcome <clears throat> to another Scratch tutorial video. In the last video, well, in the last Scratch video, I should say, um, I covered the most perfect saving system I possibly could. Today, I want to show you, this is more of a basic thing, basic, easy, easy difficulty, I'll say, for coding. Coding is definitely uh, easy difficulty, definitely for beginners. But you know, it might teach. Uh, the the main point of me doing this is teaching you some of the the, the these these four um, blocks in the operators, and that's you know, yeah, this. The uh, I'm gonna teach you how to make a calculator. That's what, that's what I'm saying. I'm teaching you how to make a calculator today. So I'm gonna start by renaming the cat cow you later cat. There we go. I think it's beautiful. You know what? I think we can make him look even better. Honestly, I think we could. Oh my goodness, he looks disgusting now. That's fine. Whatever. So does everything I make. All right. Let's set up this 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 guy. So he's got to wear some nice nerd glasses, right? Because all nerds wear glasses. I can say that because I'm a nerd and I wear glasses. All right. Okay. All right, there we go. Here is our nerd cat with the nerd glasses. And yeah, he's a nerd. So we're going to do a when the green flag clicked. He will ask you like, um, what would you like to do? And then we give you three op or four options. I'm just gonna do one is addition, two is subtraction, three is multiplication, and four is division. Sorry if you hear people talking down the stairs. We have a bit of an office going on. Anyways, um once that it has that, obviously it'll ask you. It'll ask you, right? So then we'll do like if uh, where is it? Here it is. Equals. Grab your equals. If answer equals one or addition, then it'll ask um what is your first number? Then. Uh, we need to make a variable called first number. There we go. What's your first number? Then set first number to answer. If you want to know how to make it so that they can only put numbers, uh, go check out my perfect saving system where I go through that a little bit. I, I, I run through that really quick um, somewhere in that video. <laughs> Um, then after that, it'll ask you, oh my goodness, what is your second number? Then we need to make a, I'll just, re, I'll just rename the my variable to second number, all right? With that, we have second number two. I'll place that in there, and then we'll obviously set that to second number, right? Then what it will do is it will say, we'll have him say, you know, like, okay, grab yourself a join, go to operators, grab yourself a join, and you might as well put another one in there, and then one more. The reason I'm doing this is so then we can go, it'll say first number, then in here put a plus symbol, plus second number, oh, we need to put another join in there. First number plus second number equals, and now make a new variable, right? And we're going to call this um, answer. That works. We'll put it right here. Put it right underneath the nerd cat. I'm gonna rename him nerd cat because you know we're having a good time here. Everyone, everyone's having a good time. Everyone's happy today. Everyone's. Everyone's pretty good. They're doing they're doing good today. All right, but so before he says that, what you need to do 
is you need to set. Okay, first of all, when you do this, we need to set everything to zero. So actually, I'm just going to set it to blank. 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 Set. Answer to blank. Again, sorry if you hear people talking downstairs. There's another office down there. Anyways, um, we are going to set our answer. Grab your plus, your, your addition, to first number plus second number. Then say first number plus second number equals answer, just like this. All right, let's try it out. What would you like to do? One, we want to do addition. What is your first number? We'll do the classic two plus two. Two, and then see, it sets our first number to two, which is your second number, also two. Sets our second number to two, two plus two equals four, and then sets our answer to four. Pretty cool, right? All right, now, now let's set up if they say they want to do subtraction. So just go ahead, copy what we just did, and set answer to two up here, all right? I'll zoom in a bit. So it'll say, what is your first number? Set first number to answer. This stuff doesn't change. Now, what does change is this little bit of information. Grab yourself your minus, or your subtraction, and then subtract first number from your second number, change your plus to a minus and keep your equals as an equals. And now that should work perfectly as it is intended to. What would you like to do? Two, we want to do subtraction. What's your first number? We'll do five minus three. Five minus three equals two. All right, now let's say like, hey, you want to do also multiplication. All right, we can do that. Uh, duplicate that again change your 2 to a 3 for multiplication again we have that set up at the top um, then what we want to do is keep these things all the same except this this one we want to grab our multiplication or the little star that is a multiplication symbol it's called an asterisk as the number itself is dragon first number and second number change your join to either the asterisk you can do by doing shift 8 or putting an X I'm gonna do shift 8 and then keep that the same just like that we'll go now and test so what would you like to do three we want to do multiplication uh, we'll do 4 times 4 which would be 16 4 times 4 4 times 4 equals 16 I'm sure you can tell how this next part is going to work so go ahead duplicate this Set our answer to 4 for division. Grab our operators, grab this division symbol, or, uh, you know, a backslash. Or is that a forward slash? I don't know. I'm pretty, yeah, it's a bad, I'm pretty sure it's a backslash. And then put your first number in, and your second number. Change that to your backslash. And, actually, no, that, that's that. All right, let's test out that one. So four, we want division. What should we do? We should do, maybe we should do kind of what we did last time, but 16 divided by four, which should be four. There you go, 16 divided by four equals four. Which, yeah, that, that is what it equals. So that this, this is a very basic um, example of how to make a little calculator. I think it's nice, I think it's interesting. But yeah, um, that's how you make a calculator. Again, very basic thing, just for beginners. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, then like it. If you didn't like it, like it anyways, because um, definitely more Scratch tutorials to come out in the future. Um, also, I want to say something. Today was supposed to be, you know, a commentary video. I'm going to explain why the final Hero Brian Lake commentary will never come out. I'm sorry about that. But the big problem is that, so the I, if you search up here, Brian Lake, you'll find a playlist of them, right? And you'll go through all of them. And the last one is 39 minutes, and it's called Mark, right? But the problem is, th there's kind of like two here, Brian Lake series that that guy's made. And the one that we were watching, right, was just fine. Until the last episode, 
where in the last episode they show flashbacks of the parts of the other series but it's in a playlist in order so we never actually seen the part that they're flashing back to so that's why that's not going to be uploaded ever unless i eventually react to the other series which i might just end up doing just because but anyways yeah if you enjoy my content why not consider subscribing that helped me out a lot thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace